This afternoon, you get into work and you never know what you're going to see <laughs> when you, you first uh, look at the emails and whatnot. And the first thing that popped up on my screen was that there's been a plane crash in Northeast Ohio. Everyone is safe tonight after a plane that was transporting a federal inmate slid off a runway at a local airport, veering into the mud this morning in Geauga County. Our Isabel Lawrence has been there throughout the day today. And Isabel, what are officials saying led up to this? Well, Jay and Betsy, I'm told that there was a twin engine plane taking off from Youngstown heading to Detroit this morning when it ran into some engine troubles and tried to make an emergency landing here behind me at the Geauga County Airport. Now, unfortunately, there were tailwinds, and I'm already told that this plane is on the larger end of the aircrafts that would typically use this airport, and it went right off the runway. Ohio State Highway Patrol tells me six people were on board. A pilot, four officers, with the Federal Bureau of Prisons and a federal inmate. The Federal Bureau of Prisons tells us those four staff members and inmate were medically assessed and treated on scene for minor injuries. It looks pretty dramatic, but this is a pretty good off-field place for the aircraft to end up. Um, the damage is mostly cosmetic. Um, everybody was in a, a seat with a seat belt, and that's why the regulations are in place. And not not terribly surprised that everybody walked away from this. Now, three news saw a man who appeared to be handcuffed being escorted by law enforcement agencies into the back of a van, which then left the scene. The Federal Bureau of Prisons tells us their four staff members and inmate were from the Federal Correctional Institution Elkton, and that is in Lisbon, Ohio. Now, we also spoke to a member who unfortunately has had two plane crashes near his house now, probably at least more at this point, and he explains to us his experience living right behind this airport, Jay and Betsy. All right. Well, Isabel, you know, a lot of folks are immediately asking, well, who's the inmate? Do you have any information on that? Betsy, that's the big question tonight. We did reach out to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, and they told us due to safety, security, and privacy reasons, they do not share those kinds of details. All right. Well, we'll stay on top of the latest on this one for sure. Isabel, thanks so much. We'll look forward to your future reports.